guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. It means the absolute world to me. Um, as you can tell by the title, we are doing a little bookcase tour, uh, or bookshelf tour, whatever you want to call it. Um, as you can see in the background, this is my bookshelf, so I'm excited to take you guys through it. I recently reorganized it, literally just a couple days ago, so she's looking pretty. She's looking so much better than what she used to look like. So, yeah. I'm excited to take you guys through it and show you all my pretty books. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe and click the bell notification to be notified whenever I upload content. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at reading is my aesthetic. And yeah, let's get started. So starting up at the top, we've got just a cute little picture here and a little cute little vase. It doesn't have anything in it, but I quite like it like that. Um, up behind there, we've got a little Dior box, which I like to display. And I've got our plants, and then I've got my favourite, favourite ever childhood book, Black Beauty, underneath the plant. And I've just got an old five minute journal underneath that as well. So that's the very top. And then moving on to the first kind of shelf, I guess. So starting over here, we have our little Crescent City section. Um, I really wanted to turn this book like facing me, if that makes sense, because I just love, um, I love the cover of that one. I don't know what it is about it. like. I think it's the moon. I just absolutely love it and like it shines. I don't know if you guys can see on camera. There we go. It like glows in the sunlight and it's just really pretty. Um, and then yeah, we have Alice of Sky and Breath next to it, which also has a gorgeous cover. But I don't know, I just really, really love this and like the simplicity of it. So yeah. So next to Crescent City, we have our cool print series. So that's these ones here. And then this one here is how um, the King of Elfame learned to hate stories. Um, I've not read it yet, but it's really cool. It's like almost like a storybook, but obviously like an adult storybook. Um, and it's from Cardin's point of view instead of Jude's, because you get Jude's point of view throughout these three books. Um, oh, my, I just realized they're in the wrong order. Oh my god. Hold on a second. That's not right. Oh. Okay. Okay much better. So now they're in the correct order. Um, so we have Cool Prince, Wicked King and The Queen of Nothing. Um, I really enjoyed that series. I'm really looking forward to getting around to this one when I can. Um, yeah. Moving on afterwards, we've got the Shadow and Bone series. Um, so obviously this is the first one of the Shadow and Bone and then we've got these two here. I think they're in the right order. <laughs> I've not read them yet so I'm not sure but I think they're in the right order. And then we've got our Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom, and then the King of Scars and Rule of Wolves. Um, I've actually not read any of the series yet. I can't wait to get around, I can't wait to when I can get around to actually reading them. But I mean, I just could not resist buying the special editions because look how flipping gorgeous they are. Um, I think Six of Crows has been my favorite because I mean, just look. And it's all shiny. It's got red sprayed edges. It's just so cool. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love them and I can't wait to get around to reading them because I've heard so many good things on them. Moving on to the next shelf, we've got a kind of like our SJM shelf. I really wanted to fit Crescent City on the same one, but I just didn't have room. Like, <laughs> as you can see, it's pretty packed. So starting from here, we've got the whole um, Throne of Glass series. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram at all, you will know I absolutely adore this series. It's one of my favorites. And then next week we've got the Throne of Glass um, Collector's Edition. Um, this is the UK one, I believe. I don't know if that's right, but I think it is. Um, I got it off Amazon. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite books to look at. And of course I had to have it facing me. Um, and on display on my shelf because look how gorgeous it is. <laughs> like, just wow. Um, behind it, we have the Akatar series. So we've got the paperback versions of the Akatar series here. As you can see, Akatar is currently missing. And um, that's because it's currently at my boyfriend's house. I got him to start reading it. So yeah, that's why it's not there. Um, so yeah, we have all the other paperbacks. Um, I recently got Silver Flames in paperback. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the orange. It's such a beautiful color. Um, yeah, and I just love the little detailing here on the spine as well. The other ones don't have that, so yeah, I really like that one. 
and I'll move this back here. And then next to that we have our hardback version of Silver Flames. And then in here is my hard covers of A Court of Florentine Roses. And this just pulls out and oh if I can do it. It's quite tightly packed. There we go. So this just pulls out and all the books, all the hardcover ones are in here. Um, Mist and Fury is currently not here because it's on my bedside table but that's where it normally lives and yeah we've got all our hardbacks. Another copy of Silver Flames that came with the box X I couldn't buy just the first four um, because I bought the hardback version of Silver Flames on its own before I bought this box set so I couldn't buy just the four hardbacks or I couldn't find books one to four in hardback. I had to buy the fifth one but that's okay. I love owning multiple copies of books. And yeah, we have this cute little crown up here that I use as a prop um, for photos quite a lot. And yeah, so that's our little SJM shelf. And we've got these cute little candles here as well. Uh, these are just from home base, I believe. And then this jar is actually an old Yankee candle jar. And I don't know, I just thought it looked really cute. Like the candle looked really cute in that jar. So yeah, that's where it lives. Moving down onto the next shelf. Uh, this has got to be probably one of my favorite shelves because I mean just look how gorgeous it is. Um, yeah this is where I keep all of my favorite books and all the ones with sprayed edges and I've just got these two on the end because I had nowhere else to put them because my shelf was full. Um, but yeah this is the fairy loot shelf and the sprayed edges so this was my first ever fairy loot book I got. This is um, Once Upon a Broken Heart and then from this one onwards, they're all Fairyloot books. And then up here is just one, a little book journal I have. I actually got it in one of the Fairyloot boxes. Um, I haven't actually used it yet. I keep meaning to use it and I always forget. But it's a From Blood and Ash inspired journal. And it's just really pretty and it's got red edges. So it just lives up there. Um, and yeah. And then these two I just got from Waterstones. This is June. Um, oh, I just love the spray edges of this one. And then this is Book of Night by Holly Black. And yeah, this is my little fairy loot shelf. Um, I think this one has got to be my absolute favorite. This is also Daughter of Moon Goddess. Um, I bought this one in Waterstones and then like literally a week afterwards, I received this one in the fairy loot box. And obviously you have no idea what the actual book's gonna be. So that was really cool, but like I said, I love having multiple copies of books. Um, so yeah, that one's definitely my favorite. It's just absolutely stunning. We also have our little um, trinket dishes here um, that I've received in fairy loot boxes. Uh, I can't remember what this dish and this dish, like what books they're inspired from, but this one here with the cool pins in it, I'll take this out of the way, is inspired by The Invisible Life of Ali LaRue. Um, another book I haven't read yet, but I think I'm going to read it very soon. Um, this is also my favourite dish as well. It's just so pretty. And I've got these cool pins. that just live there. They're also from Fairy Loot. This is a Poppy War one. This one's from Scythe, I think. And then I can't remember what this one's from, but they're just so pretty. I love pins so much. And then we've got a little candle here. This is actually a battery powered one so they're controlled by a remote so I can just switch it on and it um, turns on and I can set a timer for it and it just looks really cool on my bookshelf. Okay moving down um, I kind of made this almost like a hardback bookshelf almost kind of. It's like half hardback obviously you can see Blood and Ash is there and they're all paperback but yeah I'll take you through it. So we have all these are hardbacks and I just thought they looked so cool together. I'm actually spot these two round because then it's obviously next to Blood and Ash. Um, in fact, I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> but there we go. So now the War of Two Queens is next to the series. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so these are all these hardbacks I own. Um, they all just happen to be black and they all just happen to fit together so that makes me really happy. And then this little box here is from when I went to London and me and my friends went to Lauderdale and I got some macaroons. Um, and I obviously had to keep the box because it's absolutely gorgeous so I feel like it looks really cute on my bookshelf as well. Um, 
So yeah, so then we have our From Blood and Ash series. Um, a Shadow in the Amber is currently also on my bedside table because that's what I'm currently reading. I'm almost done. Um, but yeah, I absolutely adore this series. It's amazing. If you haven't read it, please do. So yes, yeah, so then we have so we have our Blood and Ash series, and then we've got two books here by V. Schwab. Um, we've got Invisible Life of Addie LaRue and Gallant. I think I'm going to take this one away with me on my holidays. I might even take both of them. Um, but I've been really looking forward to reading both of these, and I've heard good things on them. So especially Addie LaRue, I've heard amazing things about this book. So I'm really looking forward to getting around to it. Um, next. To that we have The Song of Achilles. Again, this book was too beautiful not to be displayed on my shelf. So, I mean, just look how gorgeous it is. It's got like the gold foiling on the front. It's just absolutely stunning. And this is one that I got in Waterstones. It's a Waterstones exclusive edition, I think. Um, yeah, I had to display it. I mean, I couldn't not. It's just so gorgeous, but I moved that behind there. We've got a few more. So we've got the hardback of They Both Die at the end. Um, I love how this has a gold cover, it looks really cool. Also heard amazing things about that book as well. Next to that we have Priory. Um, it's only here because I couldn't fit it anywhere else, but I feel like it looks really nice um, next to the gold of They Both Die in the end. Um, they Both Die at the end. So yeah, again, another one I need to read. A lot of these books I haven't read on my shelf. Um, so yeah, I feel like it looks really cool there. And then we've got the first phone call from heaven. Um, this is one my dad actually gave to me. Um, it's such a good read. I would honestly highly recommend it to anyone. It's very, very emotional, but it's such a cool concept without giving anything away. Um, yeah, highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite books. And I'm really, I really want to do a reread of it sometime just to like refresh my memory because it's been that long since I've read it but I absolutely love it. It's such a good read. Um, Mitch Album is such a talented writer and it's just such a beautiful book. So yeah, highly recommend. And next to this one, we have The Haunting Season. This is like a cool, um, it says ghostly tales for long winter nights. I haven't actually, I picked this up at Christmas time and I completely forgot all about it. Um, yeah, it just looks really cool. So, you know, when it starts to get to spooky season, we can dig this out and read some little ghost stories. Um, but yeah, so that's all that's on this shelf. So I'll pop this back here. And yeah. Okay, moving on to the next shelf. Um, we've got all my um, paperbacks. Um, so starting over here. Oh, blah, 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 wow, <laughs> English. So starting off over here, we've got a kind of Greek mythology section. Yes, I do have three copies of Ariadne. Like I said, I love having multiple copies of books, so do I care? Absolutely not. So yeah, we have all of our um, Greek mythology here. Um, I've read Cirque. I absolutely love that book. I really loved Ariadne as well. There's reviews of both on my Instagram if you want to check them out. Um, I think I gave them both four stars. I know I definitely gave Ariadne four stars. I can't remember if I gave Cirque three and a half or four. I think it was four because I really enjoyed it. But yeah, both reviews are on my Instagram if you want to check them out. And then we have the rest of the paperbacks here. Um, I haven't read a single one of these. <laughs> and that's so terrible, I know. Um, I'm hoping to read more this like over the rest of the summer. Um, I really, really want to read um, Serpent and Dove. I've heard amazing things about this series. I only own the first two books. I think there's three in the series. Um, so I really, really want to read that. And um, I think, I'm not sure, but I think most of these are standalones. Ninth House is definitely one I want to read when it comes to spooky season. Same with House of Hollow. Um, I've heard amazing things about this one as well, so I'm really looking forward to reading it. And the Poppy War as well, I've heard amazing things on it. Um, this is another one, if I just make this candle, that the five people you meet in heaven. Um, this is another one that my dad gave to me, again by Mitch Album. It's amazing. It's, I think, I'm not sure if I prefer it more um, than the other one, but again, it's so beautiful, so emotional. I would highly recommend it. It's, as you can see, it's like teeny as well. 
So it's such a quick read. It's such a little like comfort read. So, so yeah, I highly recommend it. It's such a beautiful story. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites as well. Um, yeah. And yeah, we have just our little candle here. These are just from Aldi. Um, they kind of look like Jo Malone ones though. So I really like them and it's got two wicks in it too, but that one's not been burnt. So it just sits there. It's kind of a little display item. Um, but yeah, so that was the next shelf. Um, the bottom shelf isn't all that interesting. I've just got all my, so I collect Vogue magazines. So I started in February, 2019 and I'm still collecting them. I actually picked one up today. Um, so they all kind of just sit there and I've also got another pile of like the most recent ones um, on my desk. So they're all just down here and I will soon hopefully have like the whole bottom shelf filled with them. I feel like that would look really cool. And I feel like they just look really nice, kind of displayed. I don't know, just because they're all white and it's very aesthetic. So yeah, that's my little Vogue section. I have my beautiful little plant here. Um, her name is Sybil. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I always name all my plants because I'm a big weirdo. Oh yeah, this is Sybil. She's my little bookcase plant. She's thriving. Um, and then next to Sybil, we have some um, non-fiction. We've got um, The Secret and The Alchemist here. I have not read either of those also. And we've got a couple of like non-fiction ones just behind there. Um, we also have our uh, three Harry Potter books there. Um, not read Harry Potter, please don't come for me. <laughs> but they're just chilling out over there. And then these two here, um, they were bought as kids, as like when I was a kid, I think they were bought for me. Um, but they still have like Durham price tags on it. So I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, they still have Durham price tags on it. So I grew up, I was born in Abu Dhabi and I grew up in Dubai. So, yeah, they still have little Durham price tags on them, but I don't know, they're just really cute and they just kind of hold like a little sort of special place in my heart. So they just sit there and yeah, that's it, you guys. So that is it for my bookshelf tour. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm really happy with how she turned out. When I pulled all the books off, I thought, oh, why did I start this? But she turned out really well and I really like her and she's she's looking nice. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope I maybe gave you some kind of inspiration. I don't know, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at readingismyaesthetic and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.